Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel and welcome to the Chelsea versus Manchester United Carabao Cup match preview. It's the fourth round for a place in the quarter-final of a trophy that is often very important for brand new managers, particularly at Chelsea. Remember Jose Mourinho in 2005. The Carabao Cup, or the Capital One Cup, I believe it was back there. The League Cup, it's always been known as. Sponsors change every bloody five minutes. It's always been a trophy that Chelsea have always wanted to win. So, Maurizio Sarri got to the final. Can Frank Lampard do the same as Chelsea manager? So he won it under Mourinho back in 2005, and I remember it very, very well. Against Liverpool, Matija Kesman scoring one on that day as well. Steven Gerrard scoring for Chelsea, which maybe he could have done that more often if he decided that he wanted to win Premier Leagues, but he stayed at Liverpool. Didn't come to Chelsea in the end. Fair play to the bloke, to be honest. I actually really quite admire that. At the same time, let's bring it back to 2019. Chelsea versus Manchester United. This game has got such a huge stigma around it right now due to what happened on the opening day of the season and then as a result of that, what's happened on the flip side since then. Chelsea have gone from strength to strength. United have crumbled. They got a very good result against Norwich and a good performance against Liverpool as well as a Europa League win. So they're actually starting to turn the corner in terms of their form. But Chelsea, on the other hand, seven wins in a row. It is incredible from Frank Lampard to Chelsea right now. And not only do we want revenge, for United beating us 4-0 in what was a very undeserved scoreline on the opening day of the season, but it's Manchester United. We always want to beat United. Stamford Bridge is always rocking. I'm going to be there tomorrow night, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Going to be going with Jan. Not only that, but the Carabao Cup, whatever you want to say about the League Cup not being as important as the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup, every time Chelsea step out on the pitch, every time there's a trophy available, the idea of a day out at Wembley in February or March, it's a bloody good one, if you ask me. I want us to win this competition, and I think we should try and do everything we can in order to do so. That being said, do I think we should continue to use the youngsters the same way we did against Grimsby? Yes, I do. Do I feel as though these young players are going to be good enough to beat Manchester United? Yes, I think they will be. And I'm talking in particular about maybe Mark Gurhey starting in centre-back and Billy Gilmore as well. I think Tammy Abraham will be rested for this game against United and I think Mishy Batshuayi will lead the line for Chelsea. But let's go and start the whole thing over with my lineup because there is a lot of changes in this one here today and I'm very excited about this match. I feel as though United will probably try and put out their strongest team to win it. Quite frankly, I'm still not convinced by their strongest team. The way they lined up against Liverpool, they kind of had like a five at the back kind of system, using Dan James and Marcus Rashford as those pacey forwards to try and catch Liverpool out and they got a good result in that game and I feel like the counter-attacking style really worked for them there. Against Norwich, they kind of smelt blood a little bit more. They scored three times, which is unheard of for United recently and I was actually quite impressed with their performance in that game against Norwich to watch some extended highlights and I thought United were quite good even though Norwich at times were absolutely awful. Some of the worst set-piece defending I've seen and that's coming from a Chelsea fan. So, so let's go into my Chelsea lineup. We're going to start in goal with Kepa. I think that he's undisputed Chelsea's number one and Willy Caballero maybe Willy does start in this one but Chelsea really want to go for the win here and I think that no disrespect to Willy Kepa's the number one goalkeeper and I expect him to start in goal Reese James has got to start this one at right back for me as Villaqueta has been phenomenal in recent weeks Reese James when he came on against Burnley I thought was just brilliant again every time I see this guy play you almost see a player who's got so much ability for such a young player who we've not seen in a Chelsea shirt, it's not like we're giving a youngster an opportunity and just hoping he doesn't mess up and hoping it all goes okay. Rhys James is a very, very versatile and I'd almost say complete defender, particularly for the modern game where there's so much emphasis on the fullbacks or the wingbacks, whatever you decide to go with going forward and offering an attacking threat. Rhys James has got it all and you saw that double block he did against Burnley when he was dribbling out of defence with the ball, he looked very confident and I would love to see him start this game against Manchester United. He got his Stamford Fridge, welcome, you haven't said hello for a couple of videos. Nice to have you back. He scored a goal in the game against Grimsby and obviously United are going to be much tougher than Grimsby. Let's not disrespect our opponents too much here today. Reese James to start for me and I would put him in alongside Zuma and Mark Gurhey. I can see that these two could work. I really can. Tamori's been absolutely phenomenal. Give him a little rest. 
stick Mark Gertie in there alongside Zuma. And with Reese James as well, I think there's enough physicality in that Chelsea team in order for us to get the win. As for the left back, I'm not sure what's happened to Emerson. We expected him to come back against Ajax, expected him to come back again against Burnley. He's not featured yet since that injury against Liverpool. And I think he will feature and start this game against Manchester United. Alonso's been very good. He's played a lot of minutes recently. And I think that even though it's a competition we want to win, and again, I'm not trying to compare Emerson to Alonso, who's better, who's worse, rotation is going to be key in this fixture for Frank Lampard. We've got Watford away, which we'll go into Watford later on this week, but it could be a potential banana skin, London derby. They've not got a win. You never know. So if Emerson's not fully fit, maybe we start him in this game against United, see how he goes, and then we can bring on Alonso if we need to. As for the formation that I would like to see in this game, I'd like to see Chelsea go with a 4-3-3. I've put in Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and also Billy Gilmore. I think that we all know that Jorginho and Kovacic have put together some brilliant performances as a duo in the pivot for Chelsea in the 4-2-3-1. I would love to see Billy Gilmore in this team in front of the defenders with Jorginho, which gives Kovacic a bit more of a license to roam, which we've seen him do so well in recent games. So if you've got Jorginho and Billy Gilmore in there, it means that we can start to see a little bit more of Kovacic's attacking ability, which despite the statistics of goals and assists, we know that Kovacic is very good when he dribbles forward, dribbles out from the midfield to try and spread the play further for Chelsea. As for who I wanna see as the three forwards, we're gonna go with Hudson-Odoi, Christian Pulisic, and also Mishi Batshuayi. There are some potential issues with doing this, and I want to address them before I go into my reasons why I would like to see this happen. The main issue is Pulisic is not as effective on the right-hand side. I do feel as though in this game, the game will be won in the midfield again from Chelsea. I think that any of our forward players can do the business in the final third. And I think that with Hudson-Odoi and Pulisic playing together against this Man United team, I feel as though we could score a few goals. Mishi Batshuayi again in the middle. I'm resting Tammy. I'm resting Mason Mount just to give them some minutes off. Of course, they'll be on the bench. And if we need them to come on, we will. Going with this 4-3-3, not only is it a different kind of system that we can see from Frank and a way that we could potentially incorporate Billy Gilmore into the midfield, it also means that with substitutions, we see Frank Lampard's pragmatism on show again. And if all goes tits up against United, United, we can revert back to a 4-2-3-1, bring on Mason Mount, maybe bring off Billy Gilmore if he's one of the culprits in the middle. And again, I'm, I'm speaking out of turn here. Billy Gilmore's been very good when he's played minutes for Chelsea, and I'm kind of scapegoating him for making a mistake before it's even happened, so I apologise for that. But we can always revert back to a 4-2-3-1 by bringing Mason Mount on and maybe bringing off one of those three midfielders. And I'm saying Billy Gilmore just because Jorginho and Kovacic have been so good. So those are two potential lineups that I would absolutely love to see from Chelsea. We've got the 4-3-3 that I think we might go with to incorporate Billy Gilmore into the first team. And then there's the 4-2-3-1, something that we've seen tried and trusted from Chelsea. Oh, bloody hell, that made me jump out of my skin. Anyway, back to it. I've also just realised I'm wearing a red shirt and we're previewing Man United, which wasn't my best idea, but just want to apologise for that one too while I'm at it. The fridge is too loud, I'm sorry. Stand for fridge! I know this is your last week, but... So Manchester United, who are the danger men for United? It's Anthony Martial. Absolutely no doubt in my mind, he is United's most important attacking player. Rashford's looked pretty good again in the last couple of games. He got the goal against Liverpool, scored against Norwich as well. But Tony Martial, Anthony Martial, he's done it against Chelsea in the past. He's a very dangerous player. And Man United's win percentage under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is much higher when Anthony Martial is in the team. I also feel as though when Martial is in this United team, there is less pressure and stress on Marcus Rashford to not only get back and win the ball and get forward because most of their players like to pass it sideways, but it means that Rashford is a bit more free and he can focus a little bit more on being a striker, which is very, very good for Manchester United. So Rashford's been in good form recently, scored against Liverpool, scored again against Norwich, got man of the match against Norwich. And I feel as though Rashford is coming into a bit of form, which of course is gonna be a worry because Marcus Rashford on his day is a very, very dangerous player. And United, they've won two of their last three games in all competitions, drew against Liverpool as the other one, the only team to take points off Liverpool this season. So you could say, but they're on the up a little bit. As for whether or not I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will make wholesale changes for this game, I feel as though he'll look at the fixture, Chelsea versus Manchester United. Maybe Chelsea will make some changes, so maybe he's going to come to Stamford Bridge and think, you know what, if we can win away at Chelsea and have beaten them twice already this season, 
Personally, for him, it bides him a bit more time as United manager. So, I think United are going to definitely come to Chelsea and try and win. Of course, you never go to any football match and don't try and win. But you guys know what I mean. I think he's definitely going to go for it. He's going to play with a strong team. Let's bring it back to Chelsea, though, and talk a little bit about expectations for the Carabao Cup. I don't think it will have or ever has had any detrimental impact on a manager if we don't do well in the competition. It is a trophy that I would absolutely love to win. We talk about a Wembley day out in February, Wembley day out in March, whenever the final is. I think it's in February usually. And it is a trophy that can often springboard a team from that stage of the season when it's getting towards the final third, it can springboard a team on to go and do more things further forward. So Chelsea will be looking for Frank Lampard's first trophy. The Carabao Cup is an opportunity for that. Spurs have already been knocked out. You've got Liverpool playing Arsenal. We're playing United. So if we beat Manchester United, there's not going to be that many more big names left in the quarterfinal draw. So there's 100% an opportunity for Frank Lampard to get his first trophy here as Chelsea manager. You look at the way we're playing at the moment as well, with the informed side in the Premier League, and there's no reason why Chelsea can't go on and win this competition. Some fans are saying like, oh, what would you rather do? Win the League Cup or the FA Cup and miss out on the top four or finish in the top four? Of course, we all know how important it is to finish in the top four. The financial benefits of doing so are astronomical, but at the same time, we cannot ignore this competition. It's a trophy that I absolutely love. The atmosphere against Grimsby was incredible. Another chance to see more of our youngsters on the field. We've got that again tomorrow night against Manchester United and I cannot wait for this game. So that's it from me. I expect a load of goals in this one. I'm going to go ahead and say Chelsea 3, Manchester United 2. I think we're going to beat them. I hope that we beat them. Christian Pulisic to get the winner again. Hudson Odoi on the score sheet as well. That's what we're hoping for. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen in the comments down below. Would you make wholesale changes? Would you field a really young side again? Well, I mean, I know that we pretty much field a young side every week because we've got so many quality young players. I just will never stop talking about it. But will we see the likes of Mark Gerhi back in the team? Will we see Billy Gilmore, maybe Tino Andrin off the bench for Chelsea as well, the same way we did against Grimsby? Will Frank do that or will he see United as the bigger challenge that they are over Grimsby and be slightly more careful with the amount of youngsters that he introduces to the team. So that's it from me. Tomorrow night, I hopefully will be doing a match vlog. Lawrence is in Italy right now, so Lawrence is kind of the glue for the match vlogs to be possible at the same level of quality that they are, as quickly as they are. But it will just be me tomorrow night, and I'm going to the game with Jan. So I'll try and get a match vlog out after the match for you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a bit more of a chilled, laid-back one, because I've actually got a really busy week this week. I'm moving house at the end of the week, so... Not going to have that much time to get up to Stamford Bridge too early beforehand, but expect something at least after the Man United game tomorrow. Come on, you Blues. I'll hopefully see some of you guys at Stamford Bridge. Catch you all later. Goodbye.